So, hello and welcome to another video. Um, we're about a week into the river season now, um, but this coming weekend I'm on the linear complex in Oxfordshire at a tench fishers fishing. We've got Hardwick Smith's pool booked for the weekend uh, for our exclusive use, which is excellent. And in fact, it's even better because the lake's been closed for a little while with no fishing. Um, because Linear have recently implemented this new uh, regime of closing the lakes and rotating the lakes. Um, that's related, I guess, to the Oxleys incident they had recently where um, some fish died. So, um, in this case, certainly, it's to the tench fish's advantage because we've got exclusive use and it hasn't been fish for a while. So, happy days. Um, weather's looking good. Uh, it's been really hot this week and uh, in the last sort of 24 hours or so it's really cooled down a little bit and we've had a bit of rain. The forecast is overcast, uh, temperatures range in between sort of 15 and 19 degrees. So especially after a, a really hot spell where the weather was in the 30s, I think, you know, we uh, weather-wise at least stand a good chance. So uh, yeah, Linear's a local fishery for me. Haven't fished Hardwick Smith's Pool very much at all, actually, but um, really looking forward to getting on there and catching up with some of the tench fishers guys. So uh, let's see how it goes. So here we are. Not the first tench fisher here, but someone's fast asleep in that car, so I'm not going to disturb them quite yet. But what I am going to do, given that uh, I'm the second one here, is I'm just going to have a quick walk down, have a quick look. Let's go see. Can't, see, can't tell whether you can uh, see this on camera but there's quite a bit of weed in the front here but then it seems to disappear about two and a half rod lengths out and here we have the uh, first tench fisher of the day. So we, uh, we've seen a fish come up, or two fish come up in this swim. Not far out either. Not quite sure what it was. Probably a carp though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Myself. Oh, I'm going to die. 33. This is, again, I should just say this is for choice of swim, not actual swim number. Oh, you're going to love me! What have you got? 33. Number two. Oh, yeah. Pressure. Three. Oh, this is eight. Eight. We've, we've got done it, Ben. Hey, the Northwest boy, all four of us. It's not our fault you can't pick a decent Yeah, five. Number five. Oh, finally, it is you. Yeah. Trust you this time, Mike. Not getting your swim from last year again, are you? Gone. Gone, is it? Gone. 
Yeah, better I'm yeah. done. So, like 23? Yeah, I'm following the rules properly. So, Mark's already got one. Possibly the first of the fishing, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Oh, you got a carp. I saw a fish uh, roll on right on your spot, actually. I don't know whether you saw it as well, but... No, I didn't actually. Yeah, it was right right where you've been uh, no, putting your bait in. So, there you go. I can rub behind you, please. Yeah. Sorry, I was yeah, yeah, that's right. that other one up. Yeah, that's okay. Very weedy though out there, isn't it? Yeah. Just... Definitely, oh, absolutely. So Mark's just had a carp, low double, probably about 12 pounds. Very quickly, he's not been fishing very long at all. And I haven't started fishing yet because I'm still trying to find a clear patch. In fact, I've kind of given up looking for a clear gravel patch. And instead I'm making a clear patch myself. So I've got a castable weed rake. But this gives you a sort of idea of what I'm pulling out. And this is, according to the deeper, one of the areas with less weed. So um, I'm going to persevere for a little bit, see if I can clear a spot that I can actually fish on. Um, I don't really mind weed, but I mean, if it's you know two, three foot long, it's a bit, a bit difficult. So hopefully I can find, sort of at least shorten it and make a bit of a patch. So let's give it a go and see. So it's 4.30, I've been fishing for about, I don't know, an hour and a half. I took quite a long time getting the rods out. I've spent quite a lot of time uh, raking the swim with a um, castable weed rake. After spending quite a bit of time trying to find a clear spot, I kind of gave up and thought I'd just clear, clear some space. So uh, hopefully that effort will pay off at some point. But so far it's been pretty quiet. I've had one or two little liners. Um, not a huge amount of action thus far. There's the odd carp sort of sticking its head up. Um, not over my spot necessarily, but sort of in this corner. And Mark next door's had a carp, which he had quite quickly. Uh, but I've got a spot about, what was it, six and a half wraps. Out there, I've got two rods on that both of the worm rigs and then I've got a method feeder with a little pineapple boilie uh, in the margin. I don't know if you can see those ripples but the fish has just shown itself. It's short of where I'm fishing. Um, so what do I do? Do I uh, chuck a rod at it? I've actually got a fourth rod made up a naked chard with a little 12 mil pineapple pop-up that I've made up especially for casting at Shining Fish just in case things get a little bit desperate. Um, although the fish has just shown, I've, I've uh, had a couple of liners on my rods that are out so I don't really want to reel one in to cast the Shining Fish at the moment so I might just uh, leave that one just see if anything comes of those liners. Um, There we go, first tench of the session. Five pound, nine ounces. Right, so you've got a fish. Five pound, nine ounces, lovely jubbly. Uh, that was on the worm kebab, um, on the spot six and a half wraps out, that I raked with the uh, castable rake. So I'm really pleased that I've got a fish, not least because it gives me confidence now to uh, just carry on on that spot without being distracted with other ideas. So, uh, excellent news.
Oh, it's now a... Uh, oh, that's a fish just topped right on my swim. Interesting. Um, it's about five o'clock in the morning and I've just uh, got up and spun some more bait out and recast my three rods. So I've got one on the uh, worm pelly, one on a maggot feeder with uh, two plastic maggots, and one on a method feeder with a uh, boilie. Um, what happened through the night? I did actually jump up and, and get out of bed to uh, hit into a run last night, but like with the other two that I've had earlier on yesterday, uh, proper screaming runs, but when I strike, absolutely nothing, no resistance at all, and no weed on the um, or anything. It's a very weird, not really sure what that is, maybe it's the line getting caught on the back of a fish as it swims by a bit closer in. Um, but that was the only action through the night. Other than that, I slept like a baby, which is very good. And today's barbecue day. So it's uh, 6.20 in the morning. And we've got tinker number two in the net. Little male. Happy days. So uh, Mr. Gribble's fishing for carp and he's got one in the net. Let's get her out and have a look at her. Well done, sir. So it's uh, 4.30 on the uh, Saturday afternoon. And in terms of an update on fishing, it's been very, very quiet all day. It's been quite bright and sunny most of the day. And I've not had a bite since um, that tench in the morning. So um, the rods have been wound in and I think everyone's starting to drift towards the barbecue area. Um, for a few drinks and uh, some well-earned food. Obviously not, not anything. What was that? So it's uh, now Sunday and still only have the two tench. And uh, it's six o'clock. So as you can see behind me, I've put the bivy away already. And I'm uh, going to do a slow pack down, give it maybe two, three more hours. See if I can nick another one before I uh, go, but there's way rain forecast at around 10, so I'd like to get away before the rain. So only two tench, but it's a lovely lake and it's been great fun. 
Uh, there's been a few tench caught, uh, quite a few carp caught, uh, even some catfish caught. So it's been, you know, an interesting session for people. Uh, had a great uh, barbecue and a few beers last night. So thanks to those who organised that. And yeah, really looking forward to the next fishing. Okay, so it's about 12 o'clock now and I've pretty much packed up. I've got some stuff in the car. I've still got two rods out. I have managed to uh, sneak out one more tench so far this morning and that's kind of why I'm still just persevering for a little bit longer because they have been rolling on the spot. Finally, after two and a half days, they have been rolling on the spot and I have had one and I've lost one as well. So um, it has been raining on and off. So I think I will be gone by the next time it starts raining. But yeah, great to have caught a few tench. I think I had three in the end. And yeah, another top ten tench fishers event. Really enjoyed it. Met quite a lot of new people, new faces to names. And uh, picked up a few tips as well. So yeah, looking forward to the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.